So today I'm going to uh, make this piston assembly. Now the actual piston is half an inch in diameter and three eighths of an inch wide with a hole running through the center which is three thirty seconds of an inch. Now the piston can be either steel or brass and uh, I think it must be my lucky day because I've just found this piece of um, steel bar which is exactly half an inch in diameter so I'm hoping that will be good enough and um, all I need to do basically is to centre drill it um, drill the hole through the centre and then part it off at three eighths of an inch so we'll see how we get on Well I'm gradually getting the knack of this parting off. So the piston seem to go okay so now I need to make this little connecting piece here out of brass. So it's 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter and I've got a piece of uh, brass here that uh, is the same spec. And uh, it's about 0.4 of an inch long. It needs to be drilled uh, down one side by 3 30 seconds of an inch and across by um, an eighth of an inch. So to drill an eighth of an inch hole centrally through this uh, piece of brass rod um, Tubal Cane aka Mr Pete 222 suggests that um, you just take a little bit off the side um, using an end mill and then that helps you uh, get the centre so um, I'll give it a try so we, we're going to remove tenth out Well, that seemed to work okay. So just drilling this 3 sixteenths hole in the end of this uh, little connector. Well I must say that worked out very well and I really enjoyed drilling this uh, little item here. Um, it worked out really well and the, the hole in the centre is absolutely spot on in the middle. So all I'm waiting for now is um, a piece of brass bar, 3 30 seconds of an inch in diameter. So I'm waiting for that to come through the post. Um, also off camera I decided to uh, Loctite this uh, crankshaft so just lock tighted uh, that pin in there and, and the shaft now, amazing that lock tight um, 638 never used it before but it went off within about whew, four minutes five minutes amazing stuff well you might remember on my first video I made the cylinder and the cylinder um, moves like that on the upright and that's the pin that holds it all together so off camera I've just threaded that to an M3 thread and also off camera I've made this nut and I've knurled it using my uh, new knurling tool I'm really happy with that it's amazing what you can make on these little mini lathes okay so I decided just to uh, lock tight this piston onto a, a bit around bar um, just to check that you know it moves okay and it does that feels okay and if I cover all the holes up we get a nice pop so hopefully that will be good enough 
Wow. So that's for the flywheel. Whew. Well, this is a, a bit of a challenge. So this is a flywheel and it's got to be turned down to around about half an inch in width. And uh, currently it's one and a half inches in diameter and that needs to be turned down to around about one and three eighths. So just a, an eighth of an inch off the side in total. Um, but I've had to change the jaws on this chuck because my other ones um, are too small for this and we're sort of in big twixt and between really. Um, it won't fit in uh, the outside of these jaws so I've had to go right on the inside and it's my tool here is very very close to the jaws so I don't want the tool to crash into the jaws but I need to face this off so uh, I'm going to have to, to take this sort of very sort of steady and uh, I've also got a life centre off my woodworking lathe here which is um, an MT2 uh, just to offer a little bit of extra support and then I'll have to sort of like finish the inside off or the centre off without that there so anyway let's see how we get on fingers crossed um, like I say, I'm going to have to take this very, very steady. So I've just done a quick calculation and I think we need to be turning around about 400. Bad. So while I'm here, I'm going to uh, centre drill and drill the uh, required diameter hole. Well, I was right. Um, the diameter of the flywheel is one and a half inches, and it's just touching the base, so it just needs a little bit skimming off it. Uh, probably around about eighth of an inch in total of the diameter. So um, the the problem I've got is uh, holding this on the lathe. But um, I've come up with um, a solution which I hope will work. So we'll go over to the lathe and I'll show you. Okay, so I've just turned down this uh, mild steel bar to a diameter the same as the hole that's uh, in the flywheel. So I'm just going to put the flywheel on that. 
I've tapped this end here and I've just got a bit of aluminium that I've, I've tapped. Put that on there, tighten it up and hopefully I'll be able to just uh, skim an eighth of an inch off. working a treat. Now that's a lot better. Perfect. Well I must say I'm very happy with this uh, flywheel and, and the arbor I made worked, worked an absolute treat. Uh, really happy with the uh, way it's come out. The only problem I did have was the finish and um, I've been using these tin coated uh, carbide inserts and I just couldn't get a good finish either on the side or um, this bit here so I ended up um, rightly or wrongly trying out these uh, inserts for aluminium and I got a really good finish on here uh, when it was on the arbor um, using those inserts so I think I'll be buying some more of those why it's worked better than those I've absolutely no idea I, I, I've tried various speeds um, but I, I always got the same result of it sort of very liney using those um, I've still got some lines on the side and that was when it was held actually held in the jaws um, so I, I'm not too sure what's going on. So the way to attach the flywheel to the shaft is to use a grub screw and uh, unfortunately I've only got an M5 grub screw I think an M4 would have been better but there you go and uh, the plan here is to from the edge drill a 5mm diameter hole uh, probably about two fifths of an inch down um, and then on the latter bit to drill 4.2 millimeters to enable me to tap it to an M5 thread. So this is a 5 millimeter drill bit and I'm going to drill down 0.4 of an inch. So using my uh, pretend Dremel I'm just going to cut this uh, piece of brass bar to length to connect to the piston. So this is uh, 3 30 seconds in diameter. Okay, so having uh, drilled the hole for the grub screw and tapped it, um, I just hand reamed the centre again just to make sure it was nice and clear. So, uh, in terms of components, I think uh, that's it. I think everything's made. I'm just waiting for a spring to go on here. Um, so, hopefully, the next video will show assembly and running. So, hope to see you in a bit. Oh, and one thing to mention. Uh, what you don't see when I'm using the machines is I uh, use a full face mask. So it's the one I use for wood turning. Um, you never can be too careful. Um, unfortunately when I was using the Dremel tool I forgot to use this and uh, that came flying off the, the tool. And uh, I was lucky. So it just goes to show um, even the smallest of tools can be very, very dangerous. Anyway, hope to see you in the next video.